Hi, welcome to the Artie Crafty Planner channel. Tonight I am doing my planning for the week. I'm the Artie Crafty Alchemist. Let's get started. Just a quick look before we start. If you are interested and you haven't seen my other channel, this is my projects for another collab that I am part of. I will link them at the end if you want to go and check them out on my regular channel. I've been in a couple of collabs. I've been in a month long one and then I've been in this hop that is tonight, just tonight. And I have all these leftover pieces of paper. I thought I could use them in my planner rather than cutting up new bits of paper. I have all of this to use, so why not? Now, I have been a little bit bad this week by not checking my planner a whole lot because really, I have been so busy. <laughs> it took me all day to make wands today. They are my first wands, I kept losing things. I still cannot find my plate for using my glue gun. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this. I have not done the HH video. I haven't done that either. Things just weren't going my way this week, but that will get done this week. So I just put little spots next to everything that I know is done. This week, because I am behind again, is going to be busy, but priorities for me are prize mail. All my prize winners need to get their mail and I have happy mail to send somebody, so I want to get that out as well. So they are priorities. Now I need to take my little pumpkin off because he's just gonna get in the way. Won't be able to plan with him there, so he can go up there and I'll stick him back on at the end. If you remember last week, I said that I would need to move the pumpkin out of the way. Now, I really want to use this piece of paper because I love it. I love that piece of paper. I like that too, but hmm, we need some colour. That would be just a bit weird if I put I love you there. <laughs> because Wednesday is Halloween, I might just cut a smidge off the side just to make it fit properly. Okay, one thing I didn't notice and didn't think about is when I use this pumpkin paper on this side, I have now got ghosting and that's where I need to write. I'm going to put a strip of tape on the back of that. So we have a border there, that's something new for me, the scalloped border. So we have our Happy Halloween on Wednesday. I might put this ombre piece at the top. I think that is my favourite piece of paper from the stack. I made a card with it that's on my other channel and I just love it. The black into the purple, it's so pretty. I think unfortunately DCWV papers only come in stacks, well in Australia especially. Now this is my least favourite paper but at least it's got the ravens on the other side. So we've got some beautiful purple. Now what else do we have? I think I'd like to pull in some other colours. I'm thinking to add some colour in, I might take these ghosties. If you can hear rustling, it's either my cat or my kid. It's the kid! There you go, it's the kid. And I'm also going to take these green teeth. I need to remember when I get to Wednesday that I don't have mums until Friday. She has some appointments she needs to go to. I might actually let that hang off the bottom just a little bit because otherwise it's going to take up all my room but I don't want to get rid of the ghosts. Happier now that I've pulled some colour in. I really like these spooky eyes. So I'm going one and three quarters by one and a half. Might actually cut a smidge off the spooky eye end. This side I might grab a little bit of this foil. Oh, I also like these apothecary bottles. Hmm, hard decisions. I'm going to cut that one and three quarters. Cut that orange off. So we've pulled some colours from this side over to this side, so it's a bit more matchy-matchy. I like when things are matchy-matchy and cohesive. And I think I want to pull some of this foil in. So again, I'm going to go one and three quarters. These measurements are for the Kmart planners that are eight and ten dollars at the moment. And I believe it's one and a half. In here I have some little itty words. We've already got a happy Halloween, so we don't need that one. So I might add a little trick or treat there. 
a little frightful there. We don't have any skeletons, so we don't need that. Before I decide on some embellishments, I'm going to grab my date stamps. Because October is going to be on the lines, I am going to stamp this on a strip. And next year, I think I might do some extra planning for Halloween. I might do all of October as Halloween because this has been fun. And that didn't work. These are the Happy Planner stamp, so I am going to sand it with a nail block so that it hopefully takes the ink a bit better. I'm just being very gentle and I keep forgetting the cardinal rule and that's do not do it on a stamping block. Find something that you don't mind being scratched to do that on. Let's flip this over and see if we can get a better impression. That's a lot better. It still needs to be a little sanded. I need a two and a nine. I'm guessing these are going to need doing as well. Nine. Now we need the two. And then we need a one and an eight. Oh my goodness. I'm so silly. There's a 29 right there. And an 18. Why do I do things the hard way? Okay. This time I've got the 18 instead of the one and the eight. Like I did with the two and the nine going to trim that just the same piece where it didn't stamp before I'm not going to see that so it doesn't matter just add some tape to the back of it add that up there i don't mind how that looks over the top of that just grabbing a piece of cool tack to go behind our trick or treat and then i'm just going to stick frightful down as it is because i'll have to write on the back side of this next week and it'll make it a bit of a pain if i pop it up at all. Now I was supposed to put paper there to cover those up but it doesn't matter. It doesn't bother me that much. But that is the one downside of the Kmart planners is their paper is super thin. There can be a lot of ghosting. I might do this one for Tuesday. That will be a perfect reminder that I need to call people for their birthday on Tuesday. I think this week I'll go with the hollow stars. So I think I'll put the green up there because that's next to the purple. And for this one, presents. I have twisted citron in the ink pads that my sister, Heavenly Imaginings, gave me for my birthday. I forgot that that was a distress ink and the distress ink definitely goes through the paper. I'm just going to take some wilted violet now. That's the stamping done. So again, H, H. Not sure what Tuesday's video is going to be. And then the other video I need to do, live prep and live. Definitely need to make sure I put the baby shower down. Don't want to forget that. Sunday, it's planner Sunday. Planner, so lots of edit. Want to have all my editing done by Wednesday if I can, so that I can work on market prep so my mum doesn't get mad at me. I just wrote that in the wrong colour, oh well. Writing blog every day, but I'm hoping I can get a block of time to just sit down and get them all done. It is possible it will not be till Sunday. Sunday is the only day that is an easy day, but we do have to go out. As I said, things are slowing down a little this week, but I still have to do a lot of market prep. My mum's cracking the whip. Try and do social every day. Mostly at the moment it is just YouTube, which is nice and easy. And if anything comes up on Facebook, is anyone interested in a review of erasable pens? I have Pilot, Friction, these Kmart ones and a bunch from AliExpress that were branded as Pilot and I got suckered because they looked like the Pilot pens. <laughs> so if anyone's interested in a review, let me know and I will do a review of them. Oh shoot, I'm double booked. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to add anything extra to this at the moment. I don't really have a lot left. The only thing I have left is stickers. I would like something for there, but I'd rather have something dimensional there, I think. And I don't have a lot of Halloween stuff left. <laughs> I've used it all. A lot of the stuff that I did use was gifted to me from other YouTubers and my sister. And I used a lot on my Halloween projects over on my other channel. So if, if you want to see my other projects, please do check out my other channel. I will link it at the end. This is my planner layout for the week. I will try and find something to go there. When I do, I will post it on Instagram. I think I have a little silver spider somewhere that I cut out for something that I could put there, but then silver doesn't really work in because we've got the copper. So I don't know. Honestly, I don't have much left. 
we could put the pumpkin in there. I've just used my little diamond press to cut myself a little pumpkin. Now I haven't cleaned this one up because I wasn't planning on using him on my projects but again I'm not too fussy. If it bothers me too much I will pull out my colourless blender and fix it. Okay there we go we have what this page was missing. A pumpkin. <laughs> that is my planner page for this week. If you are interested in seeing any of my Halloween crafty projects please go and check out my other channel that I will have linked over here. And if you want to subscribe to this channel and see more planner layouts each week that will be on this side. Let me know if you want me to do that pen review down below because I'm even interested to see which pens are better. I sort of have a favourite right now but I haven't really played much with the other ones so if you want me to do a review of the pens I will have a play with them and see what they are like and let you know. I will say that I got eight Alley pens for less than six dollars Australian so less than five dollars US which is pretty cheap considering one friction pen here I think is three dollars fifty and you can get a packet of eight I think possibly twelve but I'm not 100% certain I think it might be eight or ten and that is around twenty dollars off eBay and the Kmart pens that I have were three dollars and I also have Pilot erasable pen I have a black one of them that I can try I have black in all of them I believe so I can go head to head with the black colors and we can have a look at the other colors of the ones that I do have extra colors of if you enjoyed this week's layout please hit the like button if you want to see next week's layout and also if you want to see reviews please subscribe I won't be buying a lot of expensive planners I can't afford them so I will be getting some cheap reviews like the Kmart ones and when the Audi one comes out I will get an Audi one and I have a couple of Kaisercraft ones that I'll be reviewing that I got when they had a 50% off sales. Anyway thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Happy Halloween and bye for now.